In this video, we'll be seeing the correct methods for implementing a flat screen. Open Android Studio and create a new project. Now, you have to create a drawable file which will be your background of the flat screen or the flat screen would be that drawable file. We will not be creating a layout for this uh, flat screen. Instead of a layout, we will be using uh, the drawable file. So first of all create a new drawable file. Now we have to create a background and a image or your logo has to be kept in the center. For that We have to add a background, so I will be giving a background color white. For this, you have to add the color white to color.xml and this will be under this values and color.xml and add this value. Color is white. This is the name and this is the color value. Add this line and go back to your background. And now you have added the background color as white. If you click the preview, you could see the preview. Now we have to add the logo to the drawable file. So I have created the logo. And I will be using this. This is a image with this text, and this has the dimension of uh, 250 by 250. I will be using it. So copy your logo and just paste it in the top of the file. the first one. Okay, paste it there. Now you have to call it that now we have added the image also now we have gathering this to center now that's all now we have created our flash screen our layout of the flash screen now we have to set the java path and also we have to change uh, the styles also first of all go to value style and create a new style and give it the name slash then parent we do not require a action bar so we are removing we are using a team with no action bar so this is what i am using now here we will be calling our background now we have set the team and we have to call the background which we have created earlier that is the background of background flash XML file so now Android window background now this is this will create the background and we have to call our background which we have created on the drawable and now this will be our layout this 
and this one will be described as the star speed. And so be the splash screen that will be shown. Now we have to set the Java part. For that, create a new Java class. Now go to main activity and copy all the lines and paste it in the splash screen from Java file and change Remove this one, and now we have to call the main activity from our splash screen. So we have to open the main activity from splash screen. So we have to write the code for that. Now this will open the main activity from platform. So another thing we have to do is our manifest part. We have to set flash screen as the launcher. So that copy this one and change this launcher to default and yeah now paste it here and now we have to set the theme which we have created on the style before for that now we have completely set up our class screen in a correct way now this will not show a white screen that usually happens when opening application instead of that white screen we will be showing a splash screen which we have created so this is the ideal way of creating a splash screen now let's run it on an emulator and see now you can see the application is opened and that's a splash screen and for confirming the concept uh, i will show it once more This is the splash screen app. Usually, when we open these applications, a white screen will appear and then the splash screen used to come. So, in this method, when we open, you can see that no white screen appears. Instead, the splash screen appears, then the activity opens. That's because we are not creating a new activity or layout here. Instead, we have created a style and just created a background so this is the correct method for implementing this class screen hope this video helped you subscribe to my channel for more such videos